Hi everyone, today I want to share with you Gingerbread Roll and Cover. This is a membership printable, but it's free until Wednesday, December 22nd. So make sure you grab it on my blog. It'll be linked up in the description below before that date. For this activity, you will need to have a dice and then something to cover up the circles with or the numbers with on the mats. We use buttons. Uh, which work perfectly for the size of the circles we have, but you can use things such as pom-poms or even Play-Doh for the cover-ups. We printed the mats on cardstock paper and then laminated them for durability. This set does come with three different types of cover-ups. There's one with blank circles. There's also one with numbers one through six. And then there's also another one with numbers two through 12. For the blank mat, children roll the dice and then cover up the same number of blank circles on the mat that matches the number on the dice. They continue to roll the dice until all the blank circles on the mat have been covered up. Once all the blank circles have been covered, children can then roll the dice and then remove the same number from the mat that is on the dice. They would continue this until all the cover-ups have been removed from the mat. For the mat with numbers 1 through 6, children would roll a single dice and then cover up the number that matches the number on the dice. They would continue to roll and cover the number of circles until all the numbers have been covered. For the mat with numbers 2 through 12, children will need to roll two dice for this. They will be adding the numbers together, so they will roll both dice and then add the two numbers together and then cover the total sum of the two dice for that. And this will continue again until all numbers have been covered. I have also added gingerbread letter and number tracing mats to the members section. So if you are a member, those are currently available right now. The mats come with both gingerbread people and gingerbread houses, so you do have a choice of which to print out. There is an uppercase letter tracing mat that does include alternate versions of the letters I and J, and also you have lowercase letters, and then a number mat with numbers 1 through 30. Depending on how you'll be using these mats, you can either print them on regular paper or cardstock paper. If you're going to be using any kind of a wipe-off marker with these mats, I highly recommend laminating the mats after printing them on cardstock paper. If you're going to do some kind of tracing with uh, pencils or markers that you don't want to wipe off, you can just use regular paper as well. And these do come with black and white and part color and full color as shown here. If you find the ideas and the materials I present in these videos helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing as it really does help my channel grow. For Gingerbread Roll and Cover, I'm Shelly Lovett with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.